You know, too many people in politics go out and make promises that they can't pay for. What's your case, Governor, for why we should trust the federal government with paying its share? Well, first of all, they've never backed out of their commitment on Medicare. The only one who are talking about a shutdown are the Republican leadership. I will not sign a budget in Virginia unless the Medicaid expansion is included in your <laughs> I have said from day one, I will reach out in a bipartisan way. Don't bring me a budget for me to sign. I'm telling you right now, don't bring it unless it has the Medicaid expansion in that Over the next seven years, we will bring $21 billion back through the Virginia economy. And the plan I'm proposing will cost around $900 billion. But let's just take the next three years, as long as the president's in office, this money's going to be there for three years. If you like your health care plan, You'll be able to keep your health care plan, period. But let's just take the next three years. As long as the president's in office, this money's going to be there for three years. The plan will not add to our deficit. The middle class will realize greater security, not higher taxes. But let's just take the next three years. As long as the president's in office, this money's going to be there for three years. We'll create up to 33,000 new jobs. In its life, it will create 4 million jobs, 400,000 jobs almost immediately. You know, too many people in politics go out and make promises they can't pay for.